Hello and welcome back. We have another trace table, this time taken from an IB paper, but it, this will be relevant across IGCSE, O level, IB, etc., even A level. Okay, consider the following algorithm that inputs X and N and outputs P. Okay, what are we talking about? So it's going to output P when um, whatever happens here becomes false. Okay, when it's true, it's going to loop around something. So let's have a little look at this. Okay, we've got two values, X and N. Okay, P equals one. Going down, N is greater than zero. Okay, if that's true, if N is greater than zero, then P equals P times X. Multiplication in here, N equals N minus one. So that's dropping down and that returns true. It's gonna return true until N is basically zero. Okay, then it will return false and it will output P. So, for part A, determine how many times multiplication is performed when the algorithm is executed. For part B, construct the trace table, this one here, for the algorithm when x equals 2 and n equals 4, use the following headings in your table, and then 3, or C rather, state the purpose of the algorithm. Okay, so, the algorithm performs a multiplication p equals p times x. Yep. Whenever n minus 0 is true. It also drops down n equals n minus 1. The loop runs n times, okay? Because the loop is depleting, or rather, the, the iterations are depleting every time. So the loop runs n times, and the number, so whatever n is at, it will run n times because here, n equals n minus 1. So it's going to run until n, yeah, basically equals 0. It will go down, we're moving down one. So when n, n equals 0, then we will return the output. Yeah, so the loop stops when n equals 0. Therefore, the multiplication, this thing here, therefore, that is done n amount of times. Whatever n is, is going to determine how many iterations there are. So the correct answer for that would be determine how many times multiplication is performed on the algorithm is executed. It would be n number of times. n number of times. Okay? We don't know how many times until we get to part two when n equals four. So this loop will go four times. So determine how many times multiplication is performed on the algorithm is executed n number of times. Okay. Part B is construct the trace table. So here we go. X, um, N, P, N is greater than zero, and then we're going out. Okay, let's come down. Okay, we can enter these values straight away. So X equals two, N equals four. X equals two, N equals four. Okay, P equals one. Yeah. So looking at this, is n greater than uh, zero? Well, that's true. Yeah. Of course it is. We've put the values in. P equals one. N is greater than zero. That's true. Yeah. P equals p times x. Okay. Two times one. P equals p. So that must be two. N equals n minus one, which is three. N still greater than zero. Well, that's true. Yes. Okay, now we're going back around again. So n is still greater than zero, so let's do this. p equals p times x. Two times two is four. Yeah. n equals n minus one, so that's two. Okay. Um, is n still? So that's true, yeah. Two times two is four. Back around again. Two times four is eight. One. Well, true. Back on again. Um, P, so n is greater than zero. Yes, it is. It's one. Yeah, so that's true. P equals P times x. Two times eight would be 16. But now n equals n minus uh, one equals zero. Okay, so now we go back around. 
Does n, is n greater than zero? No, it's not n equals zero. So we're going to print out, okay, down here, output 16. Okay, output p, whatever the value of 16 is. So that is basically what's going to happen there. Yeah. So I could put twos in here, I don't need to. Yeah. So let's have a little look at this, because it's a stated purpose of the algorithm. Okay, well, what's it doing? Well, looking at this, if we take this two value, okay, which we put in the beginning, two to the, if we go two to the four, that would equal two times two times two times two, which would equal two, two times two is four, times two is eight, which would equal 16. Let's have a look at this, two times three, two times two, times two, would be equal eight, two to the two equals four, two to the one equals two, two to the zero equals one. So it's working backwards. So this obviously is linked to this, yeah, and link in, yeah. So looking at this, state the purpose of the algorithm, it's gonna be determining to compute, so look to compute, yeah, x, yeah, to the what? x to the, because this value here, x to the, based on these two figures, x to the n, okay? n to the 0, n to the 1, n to the 2, n to the 3, n to the 4. That is it for this one, nice and short. I'll move here so you can see the answer. That is it for this one. Have a little go. Um, probably the hardest part is A and C. Okay, obviously part B with four max was the easiest bit. But yeah, we know a little bit about maths in terms of finding the answer for A and then stating the purpose. Obviously, we might have some work, sort of work upside down. Four correlates to sixteen, three correlates to eight, and so on and so forth. Okay, so that might throw you as well. Okay, six mark question. There you go. Thank you very much indeed. Bye for now. Thank you. Please continue to ask questions, leave your comments, hit notifications, and please subscribe. And finally, if you wish to buy me a coffee, I'd be truly grateful. Please visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash learning zone. Thank you very much indeed. See you next time. Bye for now.